ball and beam system was designed to balance a 1 kilogram ball at any point along a stylishly painted beam that you can see here. Our system needed to take disturbances into account and be able to balance along any point on the beam within seconds. The structure was hand carved from a single block of wood and included an adjustable mass to make the beam neutrally stable by locating the center of mass on the pivot point. The system is controlled by an Arduino Uno, which has been programmed to control the system via a servo motor and input from a potentiometer knob. Some minor additions were included for style points. Let's see her in action. Here you can see the block diagram for our system. The step function simulates the input from the ball. Target is where the location along the beam is brought in via the potentiometer, and then these two are added together using our feedback loop. The PID controller is what was implemented in Arduino to control the system. The individual constants for the PID are P equals 0.45, I equals 0.1, D equals 0.2. These values calibrate the system to stabilize the ball. The first gain of the servo was 70 over 1024. The servo was limited to 20 degrees of rotation, so the gain was 70 over 1024 to convert the 1024 bit output from the piezo strip into degrees. The 4 bar gain was 1 over 9, because for every 9 degrees the servo turned, the beam turned approximately 1 degrees. Random noise was introduced to make the diagram more realistic, because the piezo strip is not 100% accurate in reality. Our system was able to quickly adjust where the ball was being balanced and achieved an average time of 6 seconds to make a 7 inch adjustment. Additionally, the system was able to return to a state of equilibrium after a disturbance was introduced. An average time of 5 seconds was required to do this when a minor disturbance occurred. If further time had been available, the only improvements made to the design would be to include a power supply built into the system. Currently, an outside power supply is needed for the Arduino Uno to process the signal correctly.